Hello Divine Ones, this is Fairy Dust 1111 and this is a message from the Divine Masculine to his Divine Feminine. Now typically these messages are from the Divine Masculine's higher self. However, this message is from his lower self, his 3D experience, his current mental process, his current feelings right now. The Divine Masculine is feeling not necessarily extra, extra sensitive, like in um, a sentimental type of way, but he's getting more and more in tune with his higher self, which um, is allowing him to get to his inner child, aka his higher self. And he's receiving these signs and synchronicities from his higher self that directly communes with the Holy Spirit, the Christos energy. And so with the 717 portal, that these energies, these signs and synchronicities, the messages that you are sending him, he is feeling. And his 3D self is missing his 3D divine feminine. Yesterday, especially, I was feeling this energy from the divine masculine. Specifically, of course, for my divine masculine, um, and some of the the messages that were coming through is that he's sorry, he apologizes. However, he's in a way not sorry, uh, and that not sorry is more so coming from his higher self. Because let me explain: his higher self sees the way how the puzzle is being put together so if it was not for those incidents that happened what most people will call mistakes things that shouldn't have happened that wouldn't have led to the next moment that would have led to the separation that would have led to the alignment that would have led to the signs and synchronicities and the awakening process so his higher self is not sorry. His higher self is is actually in the spirit of, I want to say courage. I want to say uh, the knowing. It's almost like if you are the adult and you give your child or a child a puzzle that's meant for a three-year-old. And of course, the child is like around th two or three. And the child is having complications putting together the puzzle. But clearly, you being the adult and you're standing over them watching them, you can see how the way the puzzle is fitting together. And you're like, oh, if they just would put this piece right there and put this piece right there, the puzzle will be complete. This is the same thing that the divine's ma divine masculine higher self is sending down to him. It's almost like the parent that's standing over the child's shoulder telling the child in its head or sometimes even some parents even be like well why don't you try to put this piece right here so it's the same analogy is that those pieces of the puzzle are starting to come together for him and with those signs synchronicities and even sometimes the dreams even sometimes he could maybe even hear your voice or even someone may call your name and he's like whoa and he's just like turning around like is she here? Is she here? Like these different types of um, serendipitous type of moments are speeding up in his life, especially with the 717 portal. Is that the eyes are being opened. The veil is being lifted from off of the divine masculine's eyes. And he sees, he's starting to see clear. It's like the fog is starting to dissipate. And the picture is becoming clearer and clearer. The puzzles, the pieces of the puzzle, of the puzzle is starting to come together to form this beautiful image that no one would have thought would have fit together. Those puzzle pieces, what in the world? Those puzzle pieces were so strange, so out of place, so misshapen. Some of them were torn and ragged on the edge. But somehow, that was through the grace of the Most High, the Divine Source, the Holy Spirit, the Christos energy, and what the manifest of Christ did and still does. That these pieces of the puzzle that no one would have thought would fit together are coming together. Thank you. 
thank you, Most High. Thank you. Yes. And when they come together, the whole world can stand back and look and be like, wow, what a beautiful sight. I want to touch it. I want to have it for myself. But remember, you aren't a divine one. However, the same way how the Bible speaks of the Gentiles, a.k.a. humans, they can have access to this. Through what Christ did, and through us carrying on that Christos energy, and walking in the footsteps of the manifested Christ, that we are able to help and aid with the awakening process of the human, so therefore they can have this alignment and this um, access to the divinity, and so therefore they can access this fulfillment. The divine masculine is missing his divine queen. Some may be crying, but you know, still try to you know be a little tough. You know, ain't really no big deal. You know. She just my boo. But yo, I do miss her for real. I do. <laughs> um, yeah. And some may want to dial your number. May look through the old text messages. May look at old photos of you guys. May even be on your social media. Scrolling through. Sam, what's she been up to? Okay, all right. Okay, she ain't talking to nobody. That's my girl. I'm getting myself together. That's my boo. That's my love. Even if they try to come back with something else to say in their head, like, man, I don't care if she messes with nobody else. But no, hold on, let me go check and see. Let me go check and see. She better not. She better not. <laughs> you know. Yeah. But yes, the divine masculine is definitely missing his divine feminine. Divine feminine. Hold on. Um, let me connect. Continue to connect. Connect. Yes. The spirit, you know, what the Holy Spirit, the Christos energy was telling me yesterday. And I could feel my divine masculine was missing me. And you know, when I felt that, although I thought that I was out of this energy, you, you know, like sometimes you may think that you over something and then out of the blue, that, um, energy may come up again. And you're like, well, dang, I thought I already dealt with that. However, the psyche, uh, the mind, the emotions, the 3d self is like an onion and there's different layers. And we have to peel back those different layers to get to the core. And that core is the higher self, a.k.a. the inner child, that communes directly with the Holy Spirit, the Christos energy. Okay? And I guess I thought that I was already at the core of my onion. <laughs> God let me know yesterday I was not. I was not. And another layer of that onion was peeled back. And when I felt that he was missing me, I felt... I actually got a little upset and I know initially I was praying and I was telling the most high I was like you know I am in the process that you know go ahead and do what you got to do with him in the 3d go ahead you know I'm not no longer worried period worrying is a waste of energy or concerned about what he is doing that's because all of it is just going to lead back to his alignment process and then his path will lead right to me anyway so god don't even bring him to me until after he's ready to get married that's cool because you know i'm ready you know i'm, I'm good i'm good I, i'm i'm doing my work you know i'm doing my ministry i'm also doing that inner ministry working on myself but however god let me know the divine source let me know yesterday that no, I'm not just keeping him away from you because he needs to get himself together. No, I'm keeping him away from you as well because you need to get yourself together. You thought that you were over this and that, but guess what? You weren't over this and that. And I say that because the you can't hide from God. You can't hide. And the same thing with him, he can't hide. 
He can't hide from this connection for those that may still be trying to hide, still trying to live it up, you know, with this karmic and that karmic, which is none of our concern anyway. And the karmic doesn't have to necessarily be another um, human, another person or a, another relationship. It could be a job. It could be moods. It could be emotions. It could be anything. Okay. So, um, but it's, it's as well, it's for um, us divine feminine to really, to allow the, that the Holy Spirit is like a spotlight, like an illuminator, okay? So not only does it illuminate your steps and your, and your path to show you where to go, you know, the game that comes to mind is like a Pac-Man, I guess, like, you know how, uh, what I'm thinking of, the reason why I say that is, and the reason why I think that the image came to my head is because, all right, from what I remember Pac-Man being, it's like a maze or something, and then you have these little golden balls or something, and you have to eat them and go along along the path to get out of the other side of the maze, but sometimes we run into those blocks, and then we got to come back out, and then while something is chasing, I think it's some type of little monster or something or whatever, see, that's I think the reason why um, the Most High showed me that is because we we are going along this path, and sometimes we run into roadblocks. It's because we're not um, in a in a in full alignment. But like those little um, those little golden nuggets that we're we're picking up, that it's like the the spirit of God will let us know that it's a robot. Oh, blah, 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 blah. that is a roadblock up ahead. It's an illuminator. It leads and guides our way. So therefore, we won't run into those roadblocks. We may have to slow down a little bit sometimes because it's not only about us. Remember, we are all, we are collective. We're connected. So therefore, it's all about us. Remember the ocean where the collective, the connected is like a big ocean. And that big ocean is all connected, okay? You may have little ponds here, little rivers, little streams, etc. But it's one big body of water. And they flow at different speeds, at different heights, and in different places. But remember, it's all connected. So it's, it's, so we are all connected. So sometimes you may go through things or need to slow down. So therefore, you can aid your um, your brethren, your you know brother, sister, whatever you want to call it. Um, so we are all connected. So sometimes you may have to, to go through um, different things to help others, okay? Because that's ministry, remember? This is this is not just about romance. It's also a, about um, a, about unconditional love, unconditional love, and bringing freedom to all from the divine ones, illuminated ones, to humanity. And that's um, that's ministry. Okay, that's a mission that you have you've been put down here for. All right. And so with that being said, the, the Holy Spirit uh, and going back to the illumination, illuminator, is that it also, like while your path, your path is being guided, it also illuminates what's going on within you. And um, so with that being said, is that the, the spotlight is being sh shown or shined on the divine masculine as well as the divine feminine because we are connected we are twins aka twins twins you know it's not triplets it's not a singular you know um that we are in this together so if one makes it across the finish line guess what not you both got to make it across the fin finish line so when you think that you finish and you're divine, but you, but you not somewhat um, in union or whatever. That means that it's probably still some work that you probably need to do a little bit. Of course, you're not going to be um, in this 3D existence. Uh, we're not going to be completely, completely there. Meaning that sometimes um, the, the spirit wants me to explain this. That like uh, when people say that you have to be like completely fulfilled within your, in yourself in order to be in union, and a lot of times they they may mean that you have to be perfected within yourself in order to um be in union with your with your twin meaning you have to all your t's crossed and all your i's dotted etc but however like um with with the alignment process it's like a different type of perfection is like let me see how to explain this in in hu uh, not human um but in just like regular words okay 
the skills and tools to reach perfection. Um, like when you go into school, you ultimately, of course, you want to reach it to graduation, but you got to go through these different levels and each level, which is a grade that you go through, you pick up these different tools and skills. And with those different tools and skills, you're able to pass to the next grade. And so um, what I mean by that is like you, you through the alignment process, if this is specifically for divine partnerships and twin flames through these, um, through picking up, inquiring all these different spiritual tools and um, skills is that you, um, you have, you, you're, you're acquiring, yeah, those skills and those tools. Okay. And um, so you have the, the, that, um, okay, let me back up. All right. The, the um, ascension process, okay? Each level, each thing that you go through, you acquire all these different spiritual tools and, and skills to prepare you for, first of all, the divine union within yourself and then your, um, your, your divine star, which is like the divine union within yourself and the divine union within your, um, your twin self. And then you guys come together for the ultimate union, aka the divine star. And when you come together in union with your twin, then you have the you both have those skills and tools to make it work in the in the 3D experience, because you have been through the alignment pro uh, in and you know still going through different phases of the alignment process. It's not like um like you completely perfected because um the perfection comes in the unification. And if you get what I'm saying, though, and then it's um, specific ones that are like Paul, the Apostle Paul in, in the biblical text, which I'm going to do a study on on him because he had the divine star within him. And it's certain people that that are called like that, that are um, set aside for a specific purpose, like twin flames, divine partners, all that um are set into one category they have a special ministry a special um, anointing on them and then you have ones like um, the apostle paul that have um uni the ultimate unification um in the divine star within them okay they they will take a they pretty much have like a life of celibacy and I will go over that because it's, <laughs> the spirits let me know. It's uh, I can, I'm gonna have to explain that, but that's gonna be a whole other topic. Okay. All right. So um, back to this divine feminine. All right. I had to. I had to say if it was given to me to say, I'm gonna have to say it. You know. I can't ignore the spirit. You know, can't quench the spirit. And so, with that being said, though. All right. So don't think that you have to be like, oh my gosh, I have to be a complete. You are a saint. We are the modern day saints, but you know what people mean by when they say the word saint, you know, um, that, that will come with the ultimate unification and I will go into a whole nother video with that. Okay. So, so you are probably thinking like, oh my gosh, it's going to take like about 15, 20 years because like, I got to do this. I got to do that. I got to do this, you know, go through this ascension, get this Reiki and all this and all that and all no, no, the spirit will let you know. And, and guess what? When you guys are doing your ministry, you guys will run right into each other because you guys are both on ascension um, path. And then you guys will come together in divine unification and have the divine star and do ministry together as one. Yeah. So anyways, yeah. So this is a, um, a, a message from actually the divine masculine 3D self. Like he is missing his divine feminine. Um, but this doesn't mean for you to go reach out to him, divine feminine, you can send him love and you know what, just keep, keep, um, keep doing what you're supposed to do because this will, he will get that energy and then he will keep doing what he's supposed to do. Okay. Which is ascending, connecting his lower self with his higher self. Same with you. All right. Um, thank you guys. And, um, I know that I, I do like go from here to there, da, 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 but that's the way how, you know, the spirit communicates with me. And, um, I hope that I don't confuse people, but hopefully I don't. And please, you know, comment at the, at the bottom, 
you know, the more comments and likes and subscribes, the more that these messages can get out to other divine ones, because, you know, we're scattered um, throughout this rock that we call Earth, that we call, call blah, 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 the world, you know, we're scattered throughout. So therefore, the um, race of human humans can be have the access to ascension too because if we were all lumped together then like only we would be ascended you know so we will have to be scattered that's the reason why god did that and um you know we're scattered throughout okay so you guys i'll talk to you later peace